just a, another video on the Galanti restoration. All the reeds have been worked on, so they've all been taken out, cleaned, revolved, rewaxed, and I've started doing a bit of tuning. Um, the single middle reed. <laughs> It's fine. And the low reed. It's also really, really nice. So they've just been tuned to pitch. The one that I'm going to be looking at today, just to, as a kind of finishing off really of this tuning, is the two middle reeds because this is the one that's just more tricky. So if I play the two MM reeds together, the MM reeds. You can definitely hear the two reeds together. But some of those two reeds together out there sound a bit too harsh, a bit too wet, or the treble is too much. So I don't think that that is where I need it to be in terms of my own preferred tuning pattern. So if I have a look at my, there it is, my tuner setup, which is my Dirks chromatic tuner and the little external microphone as well. I've set it up to measure the tremolo on two notes sounding together. So if I just have a, I've set it also for my tuning pattern, the 15 uh, cents of tremolo at this one here and five at that one. So um, let's have a look. So that one, that one there, let's see what we get compared to the pattern that I'd like. So, okay, so it's giving me 20 cents of tremolo when I'm looking for nine, and I'll do it on the push as well. And that was giving me 21 cents of tremolo when I was again looking for nine. So the tremolo for me is too much. So I now know for that note there, I've got to reduce it by around about 11, 12 cents to bring that back into line. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go through the MM notes on here, do the white notes first and then the black notes, and I'm going to make some notes about where each note is in terms of my preferred tuning pattern, which I've set onto the Dirks tuner, and then once I've made my notes, say for example that D there, it needs to be, the tremolo needs to be reduced by say 11, 12 cents on the push and the pull, make some quite detailed notes and then I take the reed blocks out and I use my little, I've got a little tuning, I don't even see actually, but under my bench I've set up a tuning bellows um, which I can then use to, <laughs> I don't even see that, but anyway it's just here, uh, I've got a bellows just underneath, ah, <laughs> too, too much, hang on a minute, here, yeah. two holes here so I can use it as a tuning bench, so um, yeah, so that's the next step then, so I'm going to make some detailed notes and I'm going to go through and see if I can get that Trevolo MM tuning just as I like it. So what I might do is on that, because that D is one I picked up just as an example. When I get to that one, I'll show how I get from that, which is a bit harsh, to my preferred tuning, um, which would be a bit less wet. And, and for my ear, it's what I prefer. Okay, right, so I'll stop there. And I'll uh, I'll do some work, and then I'll do another little clip just to show that D uh, back into shape. Good evening. Just as the last little video on this Galanti accordion that I've restored. Yeah, I'll just move that a little bit. You can see me better. So this has had all of the reeds have come out. All the reeds have been cleaned and valved and checked and rewaxed in. And what else have I done? New bellows gasket. Had a good old clean and polish. All the pallets were fine. That's okay. I've actually fixed the base selector mechanism because that was that was seized. So I've freed up that on the inside, and I've just fitted some nice new straps. So that's all good. So this is all working well. So I've done about three or four passes on the treble side just to go through the tuning. So I, I tune the, all the reeds a bit, check the tremolo. And then do it again, and I did it. I think I did three times, or maybe four times, just for creeping up on that tremolo that I like, rather than trying to go gung ho and uh, going too far, which can actually ruin ruin the reeds. So 
did it kind of gradually in you know, about I think it's four four stages in the end, four sweeps of all the reeds. So this is what it sounds like. So we've got the that's the single reed. And we've got the low reed. That sounds nice, and we've got the low and the middle. Low, middle, middle, this is the master. D that I picked up on needing to decrease the tremor a little bit on the tuning and that's all sounding really nice so I'm going to do a little few tunes now just finish off this uh, Galanti restoration it's gone really well I would recommend these Galantis because they're just super quality and they're not that expensive but just really really nice quality so I'm going to do a little selection of tunes so I'm going to start off with a few French ones <laughs> Try this one on the master. on that one, sorry about that. Let's just do one... 
もう。Sorry about the mistakes on some of those, not my, one of some of them I'm not so confident on. But anyway, lovely sound of the accordion. Uh, this one's going to be a keeper, so I'm going to keep this one just because I like it. Okay, thanks for watching. So that's the end of the Galanti restoration. Thanks for watching.